This is a view of our root directory, a file that we have sitting on the desktop. And inside of our this folder, we have the dogcat zip file, which contains all the compressed images that we want to work with. We also have our graphic folder. And if we look down here, you can see our graphic folder contains a pet folder. And inside the pet folder is a cat and dog folder. This is where we're going to move all of our pictures. And finally, when we unzipped the cat dog cat zip folder, it made the dog cat directory or folder. And in it, you can see we have all our pictures of cats and dogs, as well as some pictures of the path and some miscellaneous. This is going to be our test web page to make sure we have everything in place. So right now, we just want to find different ways to select these images so we can uh, move them around, copy them, move them, and handle them. One way that we can do that is using the shift key. So we can look at this series of pictures here showing the different file paths. And if we click on the first one, hold down the shift key, and while you're holding down the shift key, click on the last one. And you can see it selects all of those. So we can do the same thing here. We can click on the first one, hold down the shift key, and go to the last cat. So now we have all these cat pictures in a row. But this has a dog in it, and this has a dog in it. So we don't want to include those. So what we're going to do is hold down the control key on the Macintosh. It's the command key. And we're going to single click to toggle this on or off. So we're going to turn that one off and turn that one off. And now we have the pictures that we wanted selected. You could also just use the control key and just go and tap each one you want. And if you change your view, let's go to list, then you can see that these are all selected. See the gray area? Another way you can select files is simply take the mouse and click and drag, and that will do a series of pictures. And then you can go in with a control key, and you can turn off the ones that you don't want. And you can change the view, so if you want to look at, at the view you've selected, you can see what we have selected here. And we go to large icons, and then you can make sure you say, oh, we don't want that one. We turn that one off, that one off. And now you can see which ones are selected. So that's three different ways that you can select files and getting ready to move them or copy them or do whatever you need to with them. Again, it's holding down the shift key while you select a series, holding down the control or the command key on the Mac to toggle individual files on and off.